Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Kengan Omega chapter 139. This week's chapter is titled 3 on 1. Now, my initial reaction was assuming that this means we're going to see Eddie versus Ryan, and that I guess Joji and Koreishi are going to get in on that. However, I feel like if those two guys come in as strong as Eddie is, like, like having those three fighting him at the same time is not going to end well. So maybe instead... Hatsumi and Rei are there to help him. However, the thumbnail of the chapter seems to have Tarashi in it. So maybe this is him trying to kill Nicholas, but Nicholas is awake and also Lou and Yumi are in the med bay. Also, wouldn't Lelong be sent over there by now? Anyway, let's find out, shall we? Oh, and one more thing. Uh, we're only 75 subscribers away from our subscriber goal for 2021, hitting 4,000 by the end of the year. So if you're watching this and you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Every one of you gets us just a little bit closer. And I'm sure if everyone who's not subscribed hit that button, we would uh, reach our goal in no time. So yeah, anyway, let's get on with the video. Yep, we've got Tarashi approaching the med bay. Stop right there. We've been ordered not to let anyone near him. Yeah, he smacks the shit out of that guy. Yeah, he's shaking. He's vibrating. Tarashi is... seriously vibrating. Hey, don't move. I, I don't think he can do that. <laughs> he kind of has a compulsion. Those guys, he appears to have just knocked them out, I guess. He's the type of guy where he doesn't kill people that he's not hired to kill. Hey, Nicholas. Or Jean, whatever. I'm glad to see you, Tarashi. You know Nicholas, don't you? Has he gone back to being Jean? Nicholas, this is Tarashi. He's my colleague in purgatory. Oh my god. Oh, he's lost his mind. Oh my fucking word. We're entering the competition together. Oh, this is my best friend, Jean Look. Oh, he's completely lost his shit. Haha, <laughs> it's alright Nicholas, I know you're not going to lose. Cause I'm Nicholas LeBanner and I'm the protagonist. You know that I idolize you, don't you Nicholas? Tarashi, what are you gonna do here? You're looking kinda somber. I don't want you to kill Nicholas cause I quite like him, but he's in a, a horrible state right now. Sorry, wrong person, my target is Nicholas LeBanner. Take care, Jean, look. Tarashi, you just got a bunch of points back. Thank you for sparing him. What do you suppose Tarashi meant by that, Nicholas? I'm Nicholas LeBanner. No, wait, if I'm Nicholas, then does that make me John Look? Then doesn't that make you John Look, Nicholas? Oh, he's... oh no. This is kind of depressing. Jesus Christ. I'm getting tired, John. Let's go to sleep. And Akoya is just here kneeling in a glass cell. I'm not strong enough. Not strong enough to enact justice. Akoya training arc again. Well, he didn't really go on a fully fledged training arc, but you know, Akoya still wants to get stronger. Uh, I guess he. Could, I mean, Akoya is fairly strong already. I'd say he, he's like a, a very solid A tier fighter, maybe high A tier. So I, I suppose through training, depending on what he does, he could get even further up there. Oh god! <laughs> oh no, Gia, what are you running from? They're monsters. Monsters, all of them. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Gotta run, gotta run. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hey there, I hear you met my student. Hey, Kureishi. Well, hold on. Is he running away, away from, uh, I assume Ryan and Edward started fighting and Jia Ji was like, oh, fuck this. Oh, I have to get like miles away from this. Or did he also run into Joji and Kureishi? Cause Jesus Christ. And the way he's grabbed onto his arm there, we have to remember, Kureishi has like a fucking bone-breaking fetish. Yeah! <laughs> so, so we, we do a little snapping of the wrist, 
My arm, you fucking broke it? Now, now, keep your voice down or they'll find us. Don't you worry, I only dislocated it. When I do break it, they'll know. <laughs> I'll handle the punching and kicking. Thank you, Joji. Oh, Christ. Oh, fuck off. I already know what Neve and Bernice are gonna do with this fucking panel. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Eddie. He, he bites off the end of the cigar. Okay, we're getting it here. It's not off screen. Wait a second, his hands are bloody. He, he beat the shit out of Ryan, didn't he? The fight's been off screen, hasn't it, people? Oh no. Well, you know what? I'll take Eddie off screening Ryan over Ryan off screening Eddie. Bites off the end of his cigar, lights it up with a match, like you're supposed to do. Yes, yes, like you're supposed to do. That Wagyu beef I had for lunch was good, but I personally prefer Rubia Galega. Nothing hits the spot more than dried, grass-fed Rubia Galega beef. You should try it if you get the chance. You wanted to take me head on? Not much of an assassin, are you? Yeah, he beat the shit out of Ryan. <laughs> <sighs> Who are these guys? Better go to sleep, kiddo. By the time you wake up, the world will have changed. What are you guys doing? Like, what's going on? What's going on here? Okay, so, um, if Eddie straight, like, beat the fucking shit out of Ryan, he's up there. He's, like, top three. Like, like, Eddie is top three now. He's up there with, like, fucking, I don't know, Tiger Nico? Well, he's supposed to have the same authority as Tiger Nico, and Jan is supposed to have that level of authority as well. I don't know if Jan will actually be powerful, or if he's just the head of the organization. He, he's just a guy that runs everything. Well, you know, because Kengen. It's probably safe to assume he's fairly strong. Um, but I've always figured that his um, pursuit of the cyberbrain stuff was due to either him being weak, or, you know, just not being as strong as someone like Oma, or because he wants to be fucking immortal or something. Can you believe that Alan tripped over a pebble like this? The fist-breaking king, Solomon Wu. I guess we expected too much of the kid. What do they say in manga at times like this again? The king of brutality, Fabio Wu. Well, what's Edward's epithet? We've got a bunch more kings, because everyone and their brother in Kengen is the king of something. Alan was the weakest among us. He was a disgrace to the Wu clan, right? Isn't that what you always say when a relative dies? What's wrong with having a catchphrase? You should get one yourself. Can you make your catchphrase a little more positive? Is that Eddie saying that? Because that's hilarious. Can you be a little more positive? Jesus. I have no idea if these guys are going to be significant or not. Did he just kick Ryan? Oh, Ryan got up. Okay, we're not fully off fighting the, or off screening the fight. Then Ryan goes in to punch this dude. Ooh, Solomon comes in, but then Ryan goes in for an eye poke. It doesn't, they're tag teaming Ryan. They're teaming up on him. Yeah, those guys are my spares. I possess the ego of Wu Hei thanks to Hui Sheng. Hui Sheng's a little tricky. Okay, so people are correct. I mean, it would make sense. Eddie is apparently the leader of the Westward faction, so it would make sense that he would use Hui Sheng, that he would be a recipient of that. You could, theoretically, use Hui Sheng on the entire clan to mass produce Wu Hei's, but that'd just lead to anarchy, because Wu Hei's personality doesn't like serving anyone else. Then again, if the successor dies, Hui Sheng stops there. So you gotta have a couple. So you had Alan, and these guys are spares. Okay, that makes sense, actually. And they're, they're beating up Ryan, but they're not fighting him legitimately. Alan Wu and someone else. There's also Alan, who you killed, and one other. Meaning there are five of me in the Westward faction. Though we call each other by names out of convenience. Oh wait, guess we're down to four. So, Ryan's going into removal right now. We're going to see how that turns out. I imagine he's probably going to kill these dudes. Yep, removal. Match him, Solomon. 
Uh, are they going to? Ryan starts beating on these two guys. And then Eddie comes in and kicks Ryan out of there. Now that's what I like to call perfect sync. We're all me, after all. <laughs> You're mad, aren't you? You think it's unfair, don't you? You're goddamn right it is. We're gonna be unfair and fight you three on one. I see! So we're not fighting Eddie three on one, we're fighting Ryan three on one, which frankly, while kind of a scumfuck tactic, if you want to win, use scumfuck tactics. Oh, and then Ario comes in and he stabs, uh, Fabrio. Fabrizio? I don't, he, he's dead. He's a fucking side character, it doesn't matter. Oh? Make that two on two. The mighty demon Kure Ario. We have to see what this scrawny old man has for moves. Being the first man, the first fang of Matsudo and all. I wonder how much old age has affected him. Anyway, very cool chapter. Um, so, Eddie versus Ryan was kind of off-screened, but not really. Like, the opening parts of the fight were off-screen, which makes sense considering how much time has passed if they weren't going to, like, suddenly be like, anyway, half an hour ago, this was happening. That'd be a little strange in terms of, like, pacing and stuff. Um... That part of the fight is off screen, but we're still gonna actually see them fight each other. And we're gonna see Aereo do stuff, which we haven't really seen Aereo do much ever since like his flashback with meeting Matsudo. And that's when he was in like his 20s or something. So now we get to see what current Aereo can do. Uh, and who knows, maybe this will be the last time we ever see him do anything. Uh, but with that, that's all I've got to say for this week's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. So you don't miss any of my uploads, I do King and Omega chapter reactions and reviews every week if you enjoy other series such as Jujutsu Kaisen and Record of Ragnarok. I do videos on those series as well, so if you're interested in those, you should definitely check out my channel. And if you enjoy discussing King and Omega with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce in this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server, I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys around, take care.